commute. What's going on, everybody? Uh, hope you enjoyed the little logo spinning around. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, welcome to the show. This is my every other week, every other Tuesday live claim sale. Uh, let's get this party started. That's my boy, newbie, newbie in the house. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, it's okay, Roger. There's just a little lag. You're a lag. You're a lag. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, what I do here every show is I go through about 200 comic books in 60 minutes. They're all priced and ready to go. Uh, we also do the chain mailbox here. And what that is, is I give away a really cool book, really cool book. So last time we did a Moon Knight number one, CGC 9.4. That's right, 9.4. That was a crazy little giveaway that I did. It sold out in mere seconds. Uh, and I've been doing, that was, I think, my eighth or ninth. Was that was that eight or nine uh, chain mail boxes that we did? Yeah, nine boxes. So I think this is the 10th that we're going to be doing. What's up, Sam Rock? Actual Dracula in the house. Say everybody, say hi to everybody in the chat. Lauren Scott, what's going on? Mr. Warlock. Cool, man. Nice to see everybody here. Um, so, yeah, we do the chain mail box. I'm going to do it as soon as the board is full. As soon as that board gets full, I'm going to play the little reveal video of our grand prize. Uh, and then I'm going to collect for 12 spots. Um, so what else is there i think that's pretty much it um, if you're new to the channel uh hit the subscribe button uh give me a thumbs up because it helps the the youtube algorithm and you know what's going to happen if you share this video and just keep it going like we, we got some wheels right now we got momentum our chain mail boxes went from raw books to cgc's and and the you know, you know what it is, the, the 9.0s, 9.2s, 9.4s are just going to keep stretching and keep on chugging. And we're going to add 9.8s in here, and uh, they're going to be mailed straight to your door. Uh, the more support we get here, the better the books will be. So, yeah, hit that uh, hit that uh, subscribe button and everything. It really helps out. Who's, Roger? Uh, who's the winner of your last uh, chain mail? The last uh, chain mail box went to uh, Ryan Traverso, Mr. Ryan Traverso. There he is, my boy. Just shows up in the chat, just just on a whim, yeah. on a whim. What's going on, Warlock? Yeah, so let's uh, let's get this party started. When I fill up the board once, chainmail boxes are revealed. Bam. <clears throat> What's so, up, everybody? Roger says hi. Prices are in Canadian dollars. Comics without a sticker price are three dollars. Okay, I changed that recently. They used to be five dollars. Now comics without a sticker price are three dollars. Shipping is there, and it's also in my description. If you're new, check out the description. It's all the ways you can contact me: my Facebook, my Instagram. Uh, I'm usually most active on Instagram, so check me out there. Uh, here we go. Cage number one. Number one. That's '90s goodness. And if you guys watched my. Uh, I don't know, 90s are going crazy right now. So uh, if you guys watch my uh, Instagram channel, um, I went through my binder of Marvel cards. Those, those I, I actually looked afterwards. Those cards are going crazy right now. Uh, cool little Silver Surfer appearance here. Spidey Web Spinners. Issue number four, baby. It's $3. Warlock hasn't uh, got his box yet, so he, he, well, he lives. It. He lives in the U.S., so yeah, it takes a spoiler alert. You spoiled it. Oh shit! Yeah. Well, if you yeah. follow me on Instagram, I, I usually update it pretty good. Uh, here's a Secret Avengers issue number four. It's going for five bucks. Captain America taking over the Nova Nova Corps. <clears throat> Love this cover. Amazing Spider-Man issue number twenty-three. Look at Gwen, about to take a bite. She thirsty. Five bucks. Daredevil issue number 160. Putting it up as a very good to find. Bullseye. What a, what a demon this guy is. Love him though. Love him. Black Widow just hanging there by the by the cord of the hair dryer. Nice. No good, no good. Fifteen bucks. Give me E. Prices are in Canadian. E, and then give me G. E, there is G. 
Thank you, Roger, for helping me today. No problem. My squire. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man issue number 260. Very fine near mint copy. $15. You guys hearing about Ned Leeds showing up in the next Spider-Man movie? There you go. There you go. Give me five, please. Norm Scott. Number five. Classic, classic hair dryer. Classic hair dryer. Amazing Spider-Man issue number 227. This is a fine, very fine issue. Black Cat. Nice. Champ, you know she's coming, right? Yeah. Follow the vets. Champ's got a nice Golden Age collection, I gotta say. Yeah. Fine, very fine, $12. Everybody wants six, but Warlock got it. Warlock got six. Epic cover in the newsstand, X-Factor, issue number 32, Cyclops versus Thor, $5. I get paid in beer. $5, paid in beer. Who's I getting paid? Who's I getting paid in beer? I get paid in beer. <laughs> I'm stocked up. What's going on, Matt? Nice to see you in the chat. Capital J. There's my buddy Champ. You know... You know, it's better. Okay, Web of Spider-Man, issue number 100. Five bucks. Like that foil? Spoil? The, the, the spoiler armor. Is, is it <laughs> the spoiler armor. The the foil. The spider armor. Five bucks. Okay? Give me D. I'm just tripping over my words. House of N, probably the best cover from the series. Because uh, it has nothing to do with Wanda's uh, cleavage. Everything to do with uh, that guy on the floor. I don't know. Yeah, right. It, it depends what you're into. Yeah. Very fine. 12 bucks. It's issue number seven. Where did this come from? Oh, spare numbers. Spare numbers. <clears throat> First appearance of Agent Coulson. Uh, Battle Scars issue number one. It's one of six. Near Mint, 15 bucks. There's Phil Coulson's first appearance. Check that out. Near Mint, 15. Give me five. I'll give you five. Give five. I'll give you five. <laughs> I, got, I got a lot of practice with give me five with my daughter. She loves giving everybody five. Give me five. Give me five. Web of Spider-Man, issue number 93. Appearance of Hobgoblin and the Moon Knight. I just... I can't get this inverted, <laughs> this inverted stuff. Uh, three bucks. Did I just okay? X Men issue number two hundred nine in the newsstand. Colossus fighting. Oh, what's that guy's name? Oh, I don't remember. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, he's I like a, he's know. like a machine. Uh, Ram, not Ram Ramrod. Ramrod. Not Ramrod. 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 I think it starts with an R. Damn. Five bucks. E. Pass me E, please. Here's the one everybody's been waiting for. Um, what is this? Actually has a cutout in it. Uh, there's a page that has a little cutout. Um, very good. I think it's closer to the very good side of it. Uh, Twenty-five dollars. But Nimrod. You can't. Nim, Nimrod. <laughs> Nimrod. That sounds like Nimrod. You got it. You're a Nimrod. Nimrod. You're a Nimrod. Daredevil. Uh, issue number 37. It's got a cutout in it. You know, I should change that to good. I don't know what my problem is. <clears throat> okay. Let's keep it going. Here we, ha here we have a good copy of the last, uh, the final issue of Ghost Rider. Uh, volume number one, Johnny Blaze, baby. It's a good copy. No cutouts or nothing, no shenanigans like that. $8. Final issues. Lawrence Scott, Clean Daredevil. Number three. Number three. Good pick. Oh. <clears throat> Let Let's put these books up fast, baby. Yeah. I like to I like to do them People fast. Claim them fast I like to do them fast. fast. Let's get through these 200 books real quick. Uh, here's a Marvel team up issue number 130, Scarlet Witch, The Vision. 
Yeah, baby. Fighting Spidey near Mint, eight dollars. Danny claims V. Danny We just sold number three. I don't D want to get confused. D. Okay. D. Yeah, yeah. So three was sold, right? Now yeah. we're on to D. D. And Danny got D. The Ghost Rider did see an upgrade. The Ghost Rider did see an upgrade. I got a near mint minus. Ghost Rider is one of my favorite guys. Um, one of my favorite guys out there. We got a claim on two. Did you get it? Uh, yeah, Seagull. There's number two. Uh, Hands of Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu. Beautiful cover. <clears throat> Beautiful and, cover. Uh, Mike Zek, near mint, $10. Mike Zek, cover. Kill it. What do you need? You good? Mm -hmm. Daredevil, issue number four. Love this cover. I think I got the full run, if you're into it. It's when the Daredevil meets the Punisher in this uh, story arc. Uh, $3. City Mike claims E. City Mike. Good call, Mike. That's a good one. <clears throat> Here's a near mint copy of Amazing Spider Man issue number 611. Deadpool, Spidey, um, Scotty Young cover. Pretty epic. We're doing near mint for $30. And it also nice. comes with a, uh, it, I think it's a 3D, um, it's, a, it's a 3D bust of uh, Deadpool on the back. It's like you just fold the pieces and put it all together. <clears throat> Here's a sad story. No value stamp. The value stamp is cut out on this Marvel Team Ups issue number 41. It's good at $8. Some of that Wanda action. No value stamp. $8. Champ gets G. Champ with the slap shot. <clears throat> Here's a very fine copy, a uh, very fine near mint copy of Detective Comics. Uh, this is the annual, or oh, actually it's issue 600, uh, square bound, very fine near mint, eight bucks. With a stunning climax. <laughs> Okay, ready, ready, wait, 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 wait. What wait. happened? Good for you. you Good for you. You hear that? That's how I get paid. Man, man's got to get paid. Man's got to get paid. I have a little bit of a stomach ache, Roger. I have to pass on the beers tonight. That's okay. I'll drink them for you. You got it. Amazing Spider-Man issue number 328. Very fine copy for $8. Classic Todd McFarlane. <laughs> no, I'm not on Instagram. <laughs> We're going to start. He, he went on TikTok. I'm on TikTok. <laughs> you can find me on TikTok. <laughs> uh, he's on. Uh, we, we're going to be on OnlyFans soon. Yeah, yeah we're going to be yeah, doing uh, uh, classic car car washes. And, and, comic books. and, and Roger's going to be sporting a, a yellow bikini. No, with, uh, no, hell no. With, with hell some no. muscle cars and no, suds, no. suds and hoses. Nope. That's, all, that's what we he's into. Some, get some, get some women. Get some women. He had to hold that under his breath. Like, really? X-Men, okay, 237, five bucks. Ken. Oh, yeah. High grade. Looks like a good book. I'm putting number eight. No, even better. Eight. No matter wheat. Man, we got to fill up this board. We got to do a chain mail box. Here's a very good fine copy of Giant Size Daredevil number one. 15 bucks. That's a very good find. Stilt man, can you believe it? <clears throat> the death of Aunt May. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man issue number four hundred in a near mint. Near mint. I scratched my sticker off. That's not on the book. It's just on the bag. Near mint's twenty-five bucks. Uh, give me number B. Letter B. Letter B. Let her, let her, let her be. Just let it be. Um, 
Spectacular Spider-Man issue number 140. Not sure if the Punisher makes an appearance in this one, but uh, there you go. Three bucks. You know what? I finished my stack. If anybody has any more claims, let's do that. And then we're going to go after the chain mailbox reveal. Uh, number five, Chris Summer. Solid buy, Chris. Nice meeting you the other day, bro. Same, same with you, Ryan. You got a clean B on there, Mr. Pratt. Thank you, actual Dracula. Uh, B, clean B. My favorite something's in kitchen. You got a clean G on there. Who's that for? G is Jim Hart. Jim Lewis. Beautiful. T-Bro's got number two. Yeah, two. Flying off the wall. Get your back up off the wall. <laughs> okay, we good? All right. I think everybody's good. Yeah. Here comes the chain mail. Mm, bop, 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 bop. This one. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But you got, yeah, I can't hear you. Audio out. Wolverine Limited Series. Okay, you guys already know. Yeah. Okay, I just I just yeah. talked for like three hours. Yeah. Uh, Wolverine Limited Series 9.4 CGC. Uh, you're going to love it. You're going to hate it. I don't know. You're going to love it. You're going to love it because this book has no ceiling whatsoever. It's just going to keep <laughs> skyrocketing. Uh, I would just collect all of these if i if i could keep going but like um you guys i really appreciate it and let's just keep bringing these amazing cgc books to the table uh 35 dollars a spot 12 spots chances are good with 12 spots and 35 dollars for a, like a almost 300 dollar book that's just going to keep going um we're going to keep doing it all right yeah we're good so if you want to claim a spot claim numbers one through 12 okay the boxes that you get claim one through 12 not claim, in not out claim yeah, claim claim one through 12 okay if you've uh never been part of the chain mail box here's a little description Ryan, while people come in and and uh roger is gonna write your name down on the on the sheet of paper there what i do is these boxes right here are all identical boxes they contain four pretty cool books and um they all get mailed to your house there's gonna be 11 of them okay the 12th one which will be the grand prize will be uh basically a certificate because it doesn't fit in a gemini mailer gemini mailers are great um so i'm gonna mail that out to you as soon as you win it um what else should i say about it Tell them nine is already taken and five. So Danny and Ryan. They missed nine them. is taken and five is taken. Adrian, three. We're doing uh, $35 a spot and there's 12 spots. Shipping is included in the boxes. So that 35 is the final 35. And if you get a if you get a bundle of a stack of books tonight that you want uh, to be shipped together with that, 
uh, I could just put it into your box, uh, credit you the $5 that it'll cost uh, for the chain mail box. And uh, you'll get it quicker uh, because letter mail is super slow. So um, I don't know if it's nine. Did I get nine? If not, I'll take eight. Ryan Traversal Ryan wants eight. eight. Uh, do, 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 do. Jim R is seven. How many are left? Jim R is seven. We have four, six, ten, and twelve left. Two, four. If it doesn't fill tonight, I'm yeah, gonna I'm keep. Know. I'm gonna bring it out on. Uh, I'm gonna bring it out on Instagram and Facebook. Maybe even Kijiji. Whatever, as long as uh, everybody's paid up, I'll uh, do the shuffle and uh, we're good to go. Yeah, actual so Dracula. I won't win this time. I won't be. Uh, I won't be too concerned if it doesn't fill by tonight. Giselle. No Danny one. made the show, bro. Thanks for coming, Danny. Danny Boshu. Yeah, so it's pretty much all that's left is ten and twelve. Ten and twelve are left. Gazelle took twelve. No, she picked uh, Gazelle. No, uh, I have her a six. Yeah, and then there's another one. What does five twelve mean? Does she wants twelve or six. Gazelle wants twelve as well. She wants twelve. I don't know. She hmm. six. Uh, the prize is a CGC Wolverine number one, nine point four. How many how many spots are left? Actual Dracula's got ten. We got one spot left. Right? There's only issue. There's only number twelve left. Here again. Make sure everyone gets their numbers right because that's what we're up so far. I think Gazelle, she's out when she wants a bath. Let me know if everything is good. I don't want this to drag on too long. People want some books. I'm bringing the heat tonight. RP to 12. RP 12. Okay, we're done. We're good. Everyone's filled out. You can show it up one more time. Everyone, it's filled up. It's done. Gazelle, Gazelle said Ken called six. Uh, let me know, Ken, uh, if you wanted six. Anyways, we can, we can talk about this after two. Uh, RP, I don't think we've ever done anything together. So uh, in my description, there's my Facebook and my Instagram. Uh, and an email, so you can pick any of those three. I'm most active on Instagram. Right, if you are as well, six. we're good. Um, yeah, I missed it. No, I got Ken is nine, so <laughs> it's okay. I think we're full anyway. Yeah, we're, full. we're full anyway. But Ken's on nine. That's it. Um, it's six. just RP says twelve, and Gazelle says he took. Uh, he, uh, Ken's got six, but oh, that's El Ricky. Okay. <sighs> okay. You pick nine at first, so yeah. that's why I put them down. As, so it's good. It's all legit. Okay, we'll we'll just do this after. Yeah. Um, I think most I think most of it is uh is pretty 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 straightforward. There might be two spots that are out. No, Ken picked nine first, not six. Okay, cool, sweet. Okay, books. Here's a near mint copy of Spectacular Spider-Man. Uh, this is an annual issue number eight. Gwen Stacy back there. My love, near mint, eight bucks. Moon Knight issue number three. Let's go through this with some fire, three bucks. Scarlet Wish, Scarlet Witch issue number one from the nineties, five bucks. With some haste, Nicholas Cage. Or no, was it Nicholas Cage? No, not Nicholas Cage. What was I saying? Oh, what's his name? God damn it. Uh, anyways, he, there were talks about Craven the Hunter uh, being cast by. Oh my God, am I so stupid? Anyways, uh, Craven the Hunter had killed Spider Man. What if? Uh, five bucks. Give me number five. Dracula. Near mint copy of The Immortal Hulk, issue number 13. Beautiful Alex Ross covers, just astounding. Near mints, ten bucks. 
beat, please? Hmm? Here's a good issue of Tales of Suspense, issue number 79. Yeah. Submariner. Keanu, yeah, Keanu. <laughs> I'm so ridiculous. Stuff, I'm so ridiculous. Good. Fifteen dollars. Uh, Park P Peter Parker, spectacular issue number one hundred. Near mint, twelve dollars. The spot. John Wick. Great movie. Yeah, man. John Wick was mint. How did I forget Keanu? You guys are so disappointed in me. <laughs> I am super disappointed. You don't even fucking. You don't even remember. I'm on. I'm, I'm on. Super, ca I'm on camera. I have I'm every super reason. I'm like disappointed in you, son. Guys, like, legit. Like before my shows, I have like some anxiety yeah, shit. Yeah. I have some nervousness going on. I get butterflies. I'm just going nuts over here before the show. But then when I get on camera, it's kind of like okay. But then I forget Keanu Reeves' name, and it's like, who are you? Very fine. Very fine near mint uh, issue of uh, Iron Man 182. Uh, Ten bucks. Give me B and A, please. B first. B and A. Yeah, B and A. A. I know somebody wants it. <laughs> Marker sucks. Give me another sharpie. Here you go, sir. That's oh, the one yes. I just threw. Oh, what? Here, this one. Red. Ten dollars. Bam. Ten bucks. That's that's where okay. they go. I need five for Sam Rock. Huh? It's number five, Sam Rock. That's a sweet book. I don't know. I like I like the cover. Uh, here we go on Kenny X Force issue number seventeen. Cool cover, three bucks. Easy on the floor, bro. <laughs> uh, March on Ultimatum Saga. He got some Magneto action, and we're doing it for five bucks. Awesome cover. Timmy's and Molson Beer. You are you are comic book champ in City Mike. Mike, how do you know that? Yeah. City Mike knows everything. How does City Mike know that? Are you from are you from uh, Canada? Mm -hmm. I guess I guess you get Timmy's. around. I guess you Timmy's get around. Know, eh? yeah, City Mike knows all about our, our Canadian culture. He gets around, eh? Uh Inhumans number twelve, featuring the beautiful Hulk in all of his green goodness. Very fine, uh, fine, very fine copy. Ten bucks. Look at Black Bolt. Pass me eight. Uncanny X Men, uh, issue 231, five bucks. I put it uh, in a fine range, a uh, very fine range. Hey, he likes Trevor Park Boys and Letter Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> Letter Kenny's great. Oh it my god, funny. those that's one funny. those one liners are yeah, crazy. They're funny. They're both funny too. I'm Italian, so I don't have any one liners. I don't no, know. They're all good. I know I know some guys who are like from the country. They oh man, them. those one liners come out of nowhere. Yeah. Freaking hilarious. Cool cover uh, by McFarlane. Uh, you got uh, Morbius on the front. Spider Man issue number fourteen. Black suit action. Something about this cover, I, I really dig it. Five bucks. Chris somewhere wants to know if you can get uh, E for eight dollars. Uh, sure. Yeah. That's I'll write eight bucks on there. Get eight bucks on that. X Men '95. Uh, here's a pretty thick book. Um, if you like it thick, it's only five bucks. I believe it's an annual. Cool artwork from '95. If you're into that, reminds me of my childhood, going to the comic book store, all those, uh, all Adrian, these cool uh, one. image titles, and Jim Lee stuff, and Eric Larson, five bucks. Adrian, number one. Numero uno. Okay, 
to clear the board? Uh, sure. No bids on that, eh? Which one? It's, oh, it's, it's a port. Iron Man? Yeah, it's, it's a lower grade. Yeah. Still a sweet cover. <clears throat> okay, clear the board. Let's start at the top. Well, Roger. Yes, sir. Did you like those books that I showed you for the upcoming uh, chain mail boxes? Yes, sir. Were they fire? Were they all fire? Yeah, awesome books. People are gonna get uh, crazy for them. They're gonna go nuts. I'm just gonna keep the show on the road. Brian Burke playing two. Do you remember what two was? Um, and Tebow three. <laughs> I think two was this. Okay, ask uh, Tebow and Brian Burke. Two and three. Two and three one. I think yeah. that's. Is that two? So watch out for Brian Burke saying two. And then T Bro, yeah. that should be three. Okay. Uh, T Bro, I don't know when you joined us, but you've been here for a while. Uh, anyways, uh, this is, has a no value stamp, meaning that some kid took scissors to it and uh, cut out the value stamp. So Brian Burke wants two. Spidey and Scarlet Witch for T Bro. Yeah, that's for Tebow. That's for and Tebow. Brian Burke. Is... And Brian Burke is this. Okay, cool. Glad we sorted that out. Here's a Spider-Man 2099, issue number one. It's got it's got a fair number of uh, of spine ticks on it, and that's why we're doing it for three bucks. These guys are better than us. They, they actually know what's going on. We should hire them. It's it's the lag. Like I, I, I did this like I did this on Instagram for a while. Yeah. We were here. Yeah, yeah. And then we went to YouTube to try to get away from the lag and like it's still haunting me. So anyways, at least I could put in my little videos. It uh, it's some good entertainment. City Mike's gonna work for you now because he's right on the ball. Better than you, Roger. <laughs> he is one hundred percent. I could quit. I That's keep paying you with beers. That's yeah. my problem. Infinity Crusade number one, five bucks. Warlock number. Oh, that's gone. That went fast. Um, here's a Marvel two in one featuring the Thing and the Vision. Maybe. Daredevil's there too, bud. Don't miss out. Don't sleep on that. Near Mint, Bronze Age Beauty, twelve dollars. Get a close up of that. Comic book channel. Mr. Matt America Murlock. great again. Not make Instagram great. <laughs> Near Mint's 12 bucks. Uh, pass me <clears throat> All right, Avengers. Ultron Unleashed is a thick book. Beautiful grade. Thank you, Mike. Five bucks. Is Ultron coming back? <clears throat> Here's a first appearance. Inhumans number 11. Near Mint, first app of Korath. You want a spec on it? It's a near mint copy. Fifteen bucks. Pass me that. Boom. Boom. Here's another Bronze Age in Humans issue number ten. It's a very fine copy for ten dollars. Love me some Black Bolt. When they come back, he's gonna catch on fire. You think the uh, you think Marvel's gonna do anything with Inhumans? No idea. Every character they can have. <clears throat> Everybody. Miss yeah. anything? We're good? Chris on their D. Hold on. Uh Nick Fury Shield. I don't know. I love this cover. It's three dollars. Baron von Strucker standing over. One division. Just like passed out. Nick Fury. Three dollars three three dollars. Hey, she's got her own TV show, hey, that one division. Pass me D. Hey? Hey. Vision and uh no, you're just hearing about this now? No. Dude, it's like halfway past the season. I know what I'm just saying. They, they're, they're giving everybody a, their own show. Yeah, might as well. They introduced the, the multiverse. Well, actually, that's coming still. Uh, Doctor Strange is going to be crazy. Uh, Marvel 2 in 1, The Thing, and Moon Dragon. And humans, right? Moon Dragon. If you're into uh, some sci fi uh, or outer space Marvel stuff, near mint, $10. Uh, give me number seven. Beautiful cover. Yeah. Here's one you'll never see again. Spider-Woman issue number 14. Why won't you see it again? 
I don't know. I've never seen it before, and I've been collecting comics my whole life. She has a cat, apparently. Cats sell. Three dollars? Chris down there wants to know if you can get C for eight dollars. Uh yeah, sure. Here's uh, Avenging Avenging Spider-Man number one. Uh, featuring the Red Hulk. It's in a poly bag. Is it? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, it's in a poly bag. <laughs> we'll be on the bottom there. Pretty cool. We're doing that. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw in issue number three. And we'll do them both for five bucks. Sim Rock says you have to tell Roger. Or Warlock says you have to tell Roger these things about all the, the upcoming shows. Upcoming shows. Yeah, and what's on TV now and all that. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Okay, you got to give me uh, updates. <laughs> Warlock and the Infinity Watch. Two Titans collide. My camera looks mint. <laughs> Look at that. Doing that for five. Yeah, Marvel and Disney, man, they're, they're pumping it out. Pumping it out. Uh, here's uh, issue number two of a four-issue limited series, but the best cover out of the series. Because uh, Ghost Rider's the man. And the thing is on fire. Three dollars. We get a fine copy of Daredevil issue number one hundred and seventy. Kingpin, right there. That's my sticker that's ripped off on the top corner. I ran out of bags and boards recently. Uh, suppliers, <laughs> the suppliers are out of stock. Is it COVID? So I gotta oh, wait. COVID related. Uh, fine, twenty bucks. Uh, give me. Yeah, it's all COVID related. Everything is COVID related <laughs> these days. It's insane. I told you I went to Tim Hortons and asked for uh, chili. Yeah. And this was when COVID first happened, and they said, "Oh, due to COVID, we can't give you any chili." No you know, chili. I go because you're fucking lazy. It's oh my like, god. <laughs> They don't want to make chili. They don't want to make chili. What? Roger Due wants Roger wants his chili. Due to COVID. Uh, actually, uh, when Doctor Strange, the first, yeah, there's only one movie. When Doctor Strange was filmed, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch actually went to a comic book store and took a picture with this book that went viral. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, that's it. Five bucks. Give me D. You want the D? Yep. <laughs> he didn't even, he didn't even catch on. He didn't even catch on. I caught it. That's you. Um... This book has the centerfold detached. Very good find. If you want to take a closer look, I have uh, no problem opening it up for you. Very good find. Centerfold detached. 40 bucks. City Mike wants five. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. City Mike. Number five? Yep. Yeah. Let's keep going on Warlock. Warlock and the Infinity Watch, uh, issue number one, near mint copy for ten dollars. Good book. That's a nice setup. Uh, sens sensational Spider-Man, black Come suit on, action. Yeah, Christian's back, dude. Where you been? I know the change to YouTube. I left a lot of guys just just like in the dust. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you for coming, and uh, it's always a pleasure hosting you. Three dollars. No, the D. <laughs> Roger's jumping all yeah. over the D. Yeah. I hold my D upside down, or what? No, you just knocked it off. <clears throat> House of M, issue number one. Uh, these are lower grade. At least this one is lower grade. I got a few coming up. Uh, five bucks. Uh, House of M, issue number five. I don't have the full set, but um, this one's a little bit higher grade, five bucks. Uh, House of M, issue number six. Again, like a mid-grade, whatever, five bucks. Mm -hmm. All about that D. 
could stop putting shit up on the D one. <laughs> Don't you have to pee up there? I gotta pee real bad already. All that water you're drinking? Ah, whatever. Here's a Marvel 2 in 1 annual, uh, issue number four, annual number four. Uh, very fine near mint, $10. You guys ready for another chainmail box? Let me know. Let me know. Oh yeah, you know, you're gonna mute yourself. I got a pretty, I got a pretty good chainmail box coming up. A lot cheaper, a lot cheaper. Let me know if you guys want to see it. Say chainmail box thumb up. Uh, Uncanny X Men two twenty four. I didn't put a sticker on this. Three dollars. Daredevil issue number five ten. Three dollars. Uncanny X Men number two twenty nine. Five dollars. Uh, two chain low boxes in one show. That's what we're doing now. Well, this one's a lot cheaper, so yeah. I figure I'll do it. It's still worth it. Two chain mail boxes. That's page number five. Yeah. Yeah, number five. Yeah. Marvel Team Up, issue number 22, Spider-Man and Hawkeye, good copy, value, um, I think the, the value stamp is cut out, I, it's not that I think, I know the value stamp is cut out in this book, $8. Who cuts out the stamps? Kids, man, they go nuts. I used to draw on all my comics, not on all of them. I just, ordered stuff. just the Punisher ones where there's lots of blood. Yeah. I added my own inks and colors to add more blood. Yeah, Punisher number Why not? one, the very first Punisher. Just add more color. Yeah, more color. More color. color touch. Power Pack issue number 19 fe featuring Better Ray Bill. Five bucks. Here's a very fine near mint copy of this first appearance of the Black Black Superman, uh, Action Comics number nine. <laughs> They're saying you go through the the books before the show and cut them out. <laughs> okay, I need B and fifteen F. bucks. B and F. And his name is Reynolds. Reynolds. Okay, if you're new, what we're gonna do? Go in the description. Uh, my email, Instagram, and Facebook is there. So after the show, whenever, tonight, tomorrow, I'll invoice everybody tomorrow afternoon anyway. And, um, yeah, send me something saying, hey, I'm this guy and that guy. I'm much more active on Instagram than any other platform. Uh, but it's a pleasure to see you, and hopefully we do more business. Brian Burke claims A, but somebody wants to know condition on A. So Brian's got it's it. claimed already. Yeah, it's claimed. Super sharp. I call that uh, very fine near mint. And Sam Rock number five. <clears throat> Wolverine issue number 59. Love this cover. There's a childhood cover of mine. Three bucks. Uh, Conan the Barbarian, issue number one, five bucks. Spider-Man, issue number 24, mid-grade, nothing crazy, three dollars. But he's pretty crazy. Okay, so you put something on five right after a comic link. Three people are asking for five. Now. I think Tebro wants five. Ask him if he wants. Tebro wants five? Wolverine. Tebro was the first claim. Yeah. Tebro wants F. I asked everybody if they were into indies the other show, so I figured I'd bust out. I think I took out three books. Rain you just got to see how they do. Um, my collecting was like 10 years ago, so for my image titles, it was quite a while ago. Um, here's uh, Alice Cott Wolf, number one, $5.
Did you sort out? Reno's got uh, the last one. So. What, F? Yeah, not people. Okay, F is up again, so just... Yeah. Uh, Protector, actually, this is a newer one by Simon Roy. Cool, uh, cool artist there, uh, tracking off. Pretty messy and just all out everywhere. $5, issue yeah. number one. Champ wants to know if you got any straight fire. Any straight fire? Yeah. You want straight fire? What can I do? I picked this up recently. It's not for sale though, but this book, if you guys are into uh, books that might gain value, if you're interested in anything crazier uh, than what's going in your collection now, um, I definitely jump on this book. First appearance of the Phoenix. I sold a 9.4 when the movie came out and uh, it's still creeping back up to that. So I figured I'm happier with an 8.5. I didn't need a 9.4 in my collection. I know that might sound crazy to some of you, but I've been collecting yeah, for so long uh, that not every book is an investment for me. But now recently it's been more about investing as well. But 8.5 can't really go wrong. Not for sale, champ. Ah, champ. Ah, champ. <laughs> okay, hey, uh, let's. Um, what did you sell the nine point four for? Uh, it was thirteen thirteen hundred bucks, uh, Canadian. Okay, so we do in the next. Let's thing. do another chain mill. Why not? You mute yourself. I mean, you're doing myself. See. There you go. CGC 9.2. We're going to do 12 spots, $20 each. I figure I'll give you guys a break. It's a little bit cheaper. Well, thank God I'm not muted. All right, cool. Um, 12 spots, claim 1 through 12. Uh, when it's all full, we I'll collect, and then I'll do the shuffle, and we'll mail out the boxes to your house. Whoever, gets, whoever opens the certificate, uh, whoever opens the box with the certificate, it's on the house. It's mailed directly to you. Um, this is just my way of saying thank you to everybody. And uh, I really appreciate it. The more you share my videos, the more you, uh, uh, you know, get involved here, the better these books become. This is just my second one. It's a little bit cheaper. So if you're into it, thanks. If you're not, no big deal. Don't spend out of your means. I love you. I want you to come back. Okay. And I love Frank. I love Roger. Thanks, Roger. Roger's on the pen right now. Fuck you. I should, you know what I should do? I should write down. You good? You good. I'm going to write down who's getting claimed. So 11 is claimed. I got it here. No, I should write it more clearly. Did you tell him the price on it? Yeah, $20 a, $20 a spot. Okay, so 11 is gone. Christian A. 7 is gone. 1 is gone. I don't know if this one will fill quick I enough. Can't, can't pass 2, so anything higher than 2, you're going to have to fill it in. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? I can't, can't count. You can count. Just, you just got to follow, the, follow who, uh, who wants to buy stuff. All right, so we'll just let it sit at this. Um, cool. I'll uh, pass it again. I'll pass it around uh, on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll close it up. RP8. It's a pretty cool freaking book. Uh, Frank Castle. It's amazing. 
finally got into a chainmail box. Well, the first one was a CGC 9.4. <clears throat> Issue number one. Yeah, that was a nice one. So uh, this one went live earlier. Basically, as soon as I fill up the rack, I, I show you guys the video and uh, we get going on it right away. Okay, we've got number eight, it's RP. Okay, there's still a lot of numbers available. Uh, even after the after the show, if you want to rewatch it or whatever, uh, just get in my DMs, description. Oh, what a save, baby. They were asking how much a box, 20 bucks? Yeah, 20 bucks a box. $20. Okay. And these are these are the numbers that are remaining. Pitch number nine. Number nine is gone. Here's a fine copy of. Uh, if you could still claim your spots. Um, yeah, it's just if you want to claim a spot, uh, just say chain mill box or CM. Uh, Daredevil 171. Uh, fine copy for fifteen dollars. Again, all my prices are in Canadian. Uh, if you're an American and you're spending. A hundred dollars, you can purchase a hundred and twenty-five dollars worth of uh, comic books at my show because your dollar is just so cool, and everybody wants it up here. Uh, here's Daredevil issue number one hundred and sixty-five. It's a fine copy, and it's eighteen dollars. Put, put them all on top. Put your numbers down below. No. Okay. Yeah, just put them on letters A, B, C, D. Give me an F. Thunderbolts, uh, issue number 43. Cool Black Widow, Hawkeye, three bucks. Can I F? F. <clears throat> Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., issue number 31. There's Deathlock the Demolisher. Falling out of a helicopter. How action is that? Three bucks. <clears throat> Stan Lee meets the Silver Surfer. This is a, a very fine near mint copy, and it's fifteen dollars. Silver Surfer is Stan Lee's favorite Marvel character, and uh, you know what is when people ask him what his favorite, what if he had to have any superpower, you know what it would be. If he had any superpower, Stan Lee would want. Luck. Uh, Spider-Man's power. No, he wanted luck. Everything just luck. goes your way. Oh, yeah. Whatever you want to do, it happens. That's from uh, that uh, Daredevil. Like, do like Domino. Daredevil. Um, the red guy. Daredevil. Not Daredevil. Not Daredevil. The other guy. Deadpool. Guy. Deadpool. Yeah. That girl that just has a power of luck. That girl has the power of luck? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Domino. Yeah. Domino, exactly. Um, Daredevil issue number 290. It's a very fine near mint copy, $10. Another Daredevil. Uh, Daredevil issue number 193. We're going to carry that axe. An axe wielding blind man, five bucks. And that's, that's a black cover. Here's a fine 
Uh, find very fine copy of Warlock issue number 11, The Death of Adam Warlock. One for $18. T bro, what was that called? They did a Marvel show based on luck. Yeah, I'd like to watch that. Yeah, that's cool. What was it called? Um, Amazing Spider Man issue number six hundred and ninety six. Uh, it's five bucks. Going on that hobble, hobgoblin, demo goblin. I don't know who's goblin. Who's, 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 who's goblin? What? The knob goblin. <laughs> Sounds uh, like a part of the knob goblin. The knob gobbler. <laughs> Amazing Spider Man battles the knob gobbler. Issue number 592. Five bikes. Cool cover, man. Look at that. That Joe Casada. Yeah. 14 for A from Warlock. 14 for A. 14 for A? How about 15? And Warlock? Ah, we've been doing business long enough. 14. Put a 14 on there. Thanks for returning. Even though you didn't get your box back, because I'm in Canada and you're in the US. It's just luck. Or is it luck? No, it's bad luck. That's not bad luck. It's just the border. Okay, cool. Here's a very fine near mint copy of New Agents of Atlas issue number two. I have high hopes for this series. Um, and I explain to you why because every character is Asian, and I have a friend who's from the Philippines, and he well he's Filipino, and he loves Agents of Atlas, and he talks about like the Philippines. They love this stuff too. And like they're they're pumping this book, not this one. Issue number one, the first appearance of Agents of Atlas. So, if you can get on it, get on it. Very fine near mint eighteen. We need H. Ramos. Ramos. <clears throat> Amazing Spider-Man issue number two hundred and ninety-five. <clears throat> awesome Bill Sienkiewicz cover. Five bucks. It's called Lucky Man from uh, Lucky Man. I like the simplicity. Amazing Spider Man number six hundred and ninety nine. This uh, this is approaching that Dan Slot. Actually, Dan Slot does this too. Uh, the when when um, Doctor Doc Ock dies and becomes the superior Spider Man. So technically, he doesn't die, but near mints ten bucks. Okay, I'm gonna start doing numbers. I need mean, number A. Letter A, sorry. Letter A. Okay. Amazing Spider Man issue number 538. Five bucks. Reno claims H. Or did you get that already? No, that's that letter. Okay. Oh. And just so happens, here is the Superior Spider-Man issue number one, uh, near mint copy at ten dollars. Cool series. Definitely worth a read if you haven't read it. <clears throat> Silver Sable versus Venom. <clears throat> Five bucks. So Ramos claims a new age as well. Oh, he gets a new one too? Yeah. New age. <laughs> Bill Sienkiewicz, man. Uh, here's Morbius issue number one. Open poly bag. It is not sealed. It is open. You're near, a poly bag. Near mint, $8. I remind everybody, prices are in Canadian. If you're American and you're spending $100, that buys you $125 worth of books. Uh, near mint copy of Amazing Spider-Man issue number 700. This is a near mint copy at $40. The ratio variant of one in 50. <clears throat> Here's a $3 book, Amazing Spider-Man 308. 
Oh man, it's nine o'clock already. I still have so many books to go through. Three bucks. Adrian claims four. Spectacular Spider-Man issue number two hundred and eleven. Three dollars. Any Ross covers for tonight? Christian Alex Harris. Ross? Mm, not that I remember. I don't think so. Uh, Spider-Man issue number fifty. This is from the McFarlane run. Cool holographic eyes. Three dollars. Claim two. Remos. Remos. Number two. Web of Spider-Man issue number eleven. Love this cover. I think it's I think it's great. Five bucks. H again for Rainbow. See, this collects H's apparently. <laughs> <laughs> that's all he collects is H's. It's okay. As, as long as he's getting something, that's cool. It's cool with me. Web of Spider-Man, uh, issue number two, three bucks. I need number one and number four. I just took. I just put four there. Number one. Number one. Number four. And the four is gone. Well, anyway, that four is gone, so. Yeah. And number two. Sorry. Hands of Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu, issue number 72. This is a near mint copy. Eight bucks. Yeah, the bag doesn't look the best. Like I said, I ran out of bags and boards. And number two. <laughs> Damn COVID. Hey, you want number two? Yeah. I'm going to take down some books. Uh, these have been here for a while. Because it gets confused when we do two. Uh, yeah, the same two, seven the same two over and over again. Each, each, each. Yeah. Sweet Tooth issue number one, The Return. This is a newer book, five bucks. Jeff Lemire. If you're not familiar with Jeff Lemire, I advise you to instantly go out and get Sweet Tooth, which is fantastic. Descender, Gideon Falls. Um, Amazing Spider-Man issue number 358 featuring the Punisher and there's Moon Knight's arm <gasps> and the and the truncheon. Five bucks. Give me number four. Please. Amazing Spider-Man number 329. Three bucks. Sam wants to know why you to buy some bags and boards off Amazon. I buy them in I buy them in large quantities. Um, I get a deal because I buy more, right? Hey, finally he's claiming G instead of H. <laughs> Yay! Uh, Spectacular Spider-Man in the Microverse. You want to talk spec? I'll talk spec all day. Microverse is coming. I don't give it. I don't give any. I, you know, it's coming. Very fine newsstand. Eight bucks. Rod, you got a goal? No, I'm good. You good? Yeah. We're at nine o'clock. I usually just end it at nine, but. Yeah, I'm good. <sighs> do what you gotta do. It's a lot of like half a long box. Okay, we're gonna do all these, all these annuals. <clears throat> They're venom. This one, like most of them, are a venom tie-in. Five bucks annual. Another five dollar annual. Another five dollar annual. Black Panther baby. You're like another five dollar annual. Okay, they're all pretty uh, pretty high grade for square bound books. Give me E. Pass me E. You want E? Reynolds. Reynolds. Man thing squaring off against the Hulk. <laughs> How cool is that cover? Three dollars. <throat> Amazing Spider-Man number three hundred and ninety. No poly bag. Three bucks. Can I have G, please? Did you guys watch this show, Stumptown? Uh, this is volume two, issue number one, five bucks. 
That's before Christian Haiti. <clears throat> Here's the second uh, second Frank Miller comic book ever. Uh, it's a forty dollar book. Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man issue number twenty eight. Uh, it's also the first appearance of that ugly thing right there. Um, very fine near mint, forty dollars. Reynolds cleans all annuals. Let's do it. Let's do it. What is this? Spider Woman issue number seven in a near mint copy, $10. Spider Woman issue number eight in a near mint copy, ten dollars. Where do you get your Bronze Age fix, huh? <clears throat> Very fine near mint copy of that epic Todd McFarlane cover, twelve bucks. Darth Vader, issue number eight, $3, featuring Dr. Afra on the cover with Darth Vader. Just, I'm just going to keep covering the box. Are you? Yeah. Why don't you put them up top on your... It, it cuts it off. Uh, <laughs> Spider-Woman, issue number nine, near mint, 10 bucks. Sure. Why not? That's a good book. Give me four. D for ten bucks. Sounds good, Chris. Ten bucks for, for Chris Somnia. Yeah. Ten bucks. So I just gotta. Or did I get a claim four first? Oh shit! Oh no, that's D. D. Okay, four. Chris good. I just put a, a red circle on it. Cool. <clears throat> Let's keep it going. Your feet comes up quicker than mine. A very fine near mint copy of Master of Kung Fu. Eight bucks. Hmm. A very fine near mint copy of Marvel Team Up. Featuring Cloak and Dagger, New Mutants, and Mr. Peter Parker. Come on, Reynolds. You know you want number A Very one. fine near mints, 12 bucks. Buy number one, Reynolds. Number one. He wants it. He wants it? He wants it. <laughs> Nick Fury, Agent of Shield, issue number 27. Rare appearance of the Wolverine, what? baby. When did you ever see this book? <laughs> Three bucks. We'll follow. We'll follow suit there with uh, it's issue number twenty-seven. Here's issue number twenty-eight. Booya, Logan. Three give, bucks. Give me E. Give me E. <clears throat> if you're into DC, Hawk World. Three dollars. What is that? Hawk World. Oh, you said hot girl. Okay. Adrian names four and D. Pass me four and D, please. Two and four. Here's uh, Defenders, issue number one, 
Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, and DD. Five bucks. <clears throat> Low grade is better than no grade. It's got like a, a oil stain or something here going on in that book. ROM number one, doing it for five bucks. E and one. Number one's gone. Number one is gone. And E. And E. And that's Reno's comics. And they want to know what two is again. Somebody wants to know what two is again. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man issue number 390. It does not have the poly bag. Typically, this is the book that has the um, the the Spider-Man in Venom lithograph in the back. Three dollars. Uh, clean four or Fool's Comics. I'm getting hot. Ugh. Ugh. Giving it away to the peoples here. Near Mint, eight bucks. Uh, Man Thing issue number six. Near Mint, eight dollars. You get your Bronze Age fix here, eh? Join me into the night. Man Thing issue number five. Near Mint. Eight bucks. Comic Champ wants to know if that was a ROM. The ROM was low grade. It had something. It had something going on on the cover. They like your shirt. Thanks, oh, man. thanks, bros. Uh, King Size Annual number three. X Men. I believe this is the first appearance of Archon or something. Near Mint, forty dollars. And Mrs. Pepper Potts wearing Tony Stark's armor and taking all the credit. And why would you five dollars? Why would she do that? Actually, Tony Stark made her made her that suit so she can rescue our rescue ranger. <laughs> you might as well pull them all off and pull up the one more lap slap there. Are we doing one more one more lap? Is that your are you making that call? I'm making that call. Let me all start on. I just put that one there. Let go. Uh, you can always rewatch this video <clears throat> at your leisure. If you are not catching it live, please feel free to DM me uh, at any any time on any of my uh, live streams. Get in my DMs, and uh, we can chat. Up, we can uh, talk about it. Some of these books do go sold after the show. So uh, you guys are getting first dibs if you're here live. Clean D and four. I don't know what D. See, Mike, help me out. What was D and four? Reno. Let us know. What's D and four? Yeah, what's D and four? I got man? them right here. Sorry, bro. A Force, number one from 2016. Putting the girls together. No pepper pots, though. I guess she's not that original. Five bucks. Well, that's got to go. He's going to open up your box now. He just showed up at his house. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks. I messaged you on Instagram. Got to go before your wife beats me with a long box. <laughs> <laughs> that's the funniest thing I've ever seen. You got the same issues I do. Oh, my God. <laughs> Beat her. Beat him with a long box. <laughs> Warlock. Thanks, bro. Uh, thanks for joining me. I'm um, just going to go on a little bit longer. I got one more stack left for everybody. I usually go just for an hour, and we're into an hour and 15 minutes. But uh, let's get this stack done and be on your way. Have a great evening. Century X-Men. Ah! Five bucks. What issue number is that? Oh, these are all one shots. <clears throat> Century in the Void. Five bucks.
A very fine copy of Logan's Run, issue number two. Ten bucks. A very fine near mint copy of Logan's Run, issue number three. Ten dollars. You watched it, eh? New Mutants, issue number 97. The prequel to Deadpool's first appearance. Five bucks. I have a little set here for $20. Uh, one through six. Astonishing, uh, astonishing Spider-Man Wolverine. Twenty bucks. One through six. That's me. <clears throat> Secret Avengers issue number twenty. Cool Black Widow cover. Three bucks. We'll do these two finally. Uh, Near Mint's copy of uh, Winter Soldier, issue number one from uh, Brubaker, my favorite writer. That's issue number one, Near Mint for 10 bucks. And that is issue number two for five. And we're going to end it off there. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Thank you, Roger, for joining me tonight and Thank helping me helping me pile up the books. Yeah, for these uh, wonderful, wonderful folks over here. Good night, <clears throat> all. Take care. Enjoy. We'll see you in a few weeks. Enjoy. And uh, for the Punisher chain mail, I'm just going to collect a few other spots that are there. If you want to get in on it, um, there's four spots remaining. Four and five. Four and five got taken. Yep. <clears throat> Thank you. If there's uh, what was I saying? Chainmail for Punisher. Yeah, the chainmail for the Punisher. There's spots. Yeah, left. here, yeah. here. There's a few spots left. Uh, I know there was a little bit of a mix-up when I was collecting for Wolverine, but um, we'll uh, we'll talk about it soon. Hit me up on Instagram because that's where I'm most active. And uh, peace out. Peace out. Have a great night. Thank you.